everybody this is julian welcome back to my channel welcome to another planting with julian episode i'm here in my patio between arizona and las vegas home for three nights and i wanted to go ahead and plant up some babies that's just been coming into my collection i have the same setup here so i'm gonna try to work below me i have my potting tray set up i have my house plant soil here i also have my cactus succulent soil in the other bin and we'll just go from there. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, let me know down below. Sun is um, setting shortly. It's after 6 p.m. So it is late in the day. So I hope the lighting is decent. I have my hair pulled up in a ponytail. I have my apron on. Which, by the way, my grandma will be sewing a bunch of garden aprons when she gets up here. Which will be for sale. So stay tuned for that. I'll give more information when uh, she gets them ready to be shipped out because I love my apron a lot and every time I put my apron on to do anything with my plant collection and gardening I just it makes me feel like I can be in the zone and have my time for me and my plants so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the first plant to my side here which is my arrowhead vine that I picked up in Las Vegas and it's in pretty good condition I had it on my wicker coffee table to the right of me over the weekend while i was away and i think this is such a stunning plant i have one arrowhead in my collection that didn't die my three smaller ones from last year died on me so we'll see how this one does and i think i'm gonna pair it up in this planter here which comes with a little tray and i got this from chinatown for I think six dollars. Just break up the roots. As you can see, it is root bound. So it has like a hardy root like the spider plant. But I'm just gonna loosen it up and get it into this planter. And as it gets bigger, I'm probably gonna have to either A, I can propagate it and get more cuttings off of it, or I can just put this in a whole different big planter and use this planter for somebody else in the future. But I think for the rest of the year, I'm just gonna keep it in this planter and see how it does here and one scoop here so I just finished filming my West Hollywood haul as as I was wrapping up that video Kira is like texting me pictures of house plants that she's seeing at our local grocery store in Vegas so I thought that was cute I will be seeing Kira in three days so I don't know what's going on with her plant collection. I asked if she wanted to film her plant collection this weekend, but she said it's still not ready. Kira, I guess, is a perfectionist when it comes to her plant collection and putting it out there online for everybody to see. I guess she wants it a certain way. So whenever it happens, it'll happen, but I'm hoping it'll be before the year end because I actually asked her before the year ended last year. So it's almost one year of me asking her to share her collection on my channel. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. What about this guy? You look a little sad. Let's prune you off here. And I think this is going to be the look of this plant. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. I see some trailing happening here, but I'll leave it for now. And, um, yeah, I think that looks great in this planter. Here it is. What do you guys think? I think this is so cute and anytime I have like a blue and white planter I always try to pair it up with a solid green plant versus a variegated one because I like that look better this has a little variegation in it but I don't know we'll see how long this will stay in the planter I want to keep it at least in here for the rest of the year until it gets bigger and then I'll probably have to switch it out So I have my Hoya here which I just shared on my channel in my last plant haul, I just wrapped up filming. I'm trying to film two videos today. Not as bad as four videos. I know I did that the other time and it was really crazy. Um, let's take a look at the root system here. Have to work quick because the sun is setting. Okay. Well, I could definitely pull them apart if I wanted to to get more babies but i don't want to do that i love the fullness of the plant so let's stick it together because if i wanted to I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten right here but i don't want to pull them apart 
I just wanted to loosen the root system. Good to know though, just in case I ever wanted to do a trade or present a plant friend. Who knows? The holidays are coming up. I think I'm going to do something special with my collection where I'm going to start propagating for the holidays so I can gift my plant friends from my collection. So I will be doing that in an upcoming video to give it time to propagate before Christmas. Okay, I love this. Take a look at this. It actually looks a little bit more fuller now that I had like opened it up. I think it's so cute. I'll keep you guys posted on this. I think this planter works pretty well with this Hoya. And we'll just leave it as is. I'll check on it in a couple of weeks and see how it does. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the look. I think that looks great. And I will probably keep this with my other Hoya that's not variegated. Right, so I have several things I can do. I can use this planter which has my beautiful cutting in here doing really well and I can use it for this guy here if it fits so that they can be in the same planters and then I can put this guy here into here so let's do this I want to see how big this guy is as the Sun is going down this is not good I hope you guys have good lighting here I've just been having long work days since I've been back working at two studios and ending my work day really late. In fact, tomorrow too, same thing. So, wow, this wire is in there really good. Don't like wire hangers. I always throw these out. I do save my plastic hangers. I'm not too sure why because I have a bunch of them and I don't use them but who knows maybe like in the future if I want to like give trailing plants I could use a plastic hanger with a nursery planter all right you gotta go wire hanger wasting time here all right let's take a look at this stack my planter let's check out the root system here Okay, what's going on here? I see a little cutting. Okay, but I'm still gonna leave it with the rest of the plant because I want it full. And then let's get this guy into the blue and white platter because I like it better, I think, using the same white pot. work quick here so lots of roots in my silver satin photos my healthy cutting that's doing really good I think it'll look pretty cute in this new planter just a quick switch I'm trying to think if I, I don't want to put my Hoyas in a terracotta. I just don't like the look. I like them in white planters. I have an empty terracotta planter that I was going to use it with, but I don't like the look. So, quick switch. Sun, work with me. It is getting dark in my patio here. So this is the new look. Again, I like a solid leaf in a blue and white planter, but I don't know. I think that works out well for now. Until this thing starts getting wild and crazy, I'll propagate it more. Like say for instance here, I could propagate this guy and get another cutting, but I love how it's trailing on me. So that is going to be a quick switch. Let me know. What do you think? I think it works. I got the white planter freed up. So let's go ahead and put this Hoya in here along with the baby cutting. Oh yeah, I'm glad I did that. This works out so good. That was worth it for sure. Let's lift you up. Now the bottom 
here look the leaves look kind of like struggling a little but I'll work with it come on little shovel okay I'm glad I did this switch I need more of these white planters they're just perfect it's a terracotta style but in all white and then this little guy I'm gonna just stick him back here, you know, just make a little note to self that if I ever wanted to trade cuttings with somebody or make another plant baby, I have him right there. But for now, he'll be with the mother plant. So that's good to know that my my new Hoyas um, are not one huge plant if I ever wanted to pull it apart. Oh my goodness, this is so stunning. What do you guys think? There's a little turn. I think it looks fantastic. That worked out so well. Love that. So I have this guy and I tried using him in a Planting with Julian episode that I last filmed. I got four totem pole cuttings that I got for me. I do have one for a future giveaway. I gave th three cuttings away. One to Kira, one to Catherine, and one to Tanya. So I'm happy about that. Kira will get hers in three days. Catherine got hers today. Tanya got hers today. And then I'm saving one for a future giveaway. And then these four will be for my collection. And I got extra cuttings because I'm pretty sure next year I'm probably going to give one away. When they're rooted, you never know. I do trade often. So I'm just filling the planter here. And then I'm going to see how they work in here. It's just an interesting shape. Hmm. Okay. Now that, I, now that I see what it looks like, I definitely need to put more soil in here. I could easily put it in a terracotta, which I have to my right, but I want to see how it looks, all four of them in here. If not, I'm going to grab this smaller terracotta and call it a day, but I'm gonna see if this will work out here. So if you stay there, okay, interesting. You stay here. This could be a thing here. And here. This could work. I need more space here. Okay. This could be a thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? This could work. Let's get a little bit more soil in here so that they stand up tall. Okay. If this doesn't look all right, I'm gonna just put it in a terracotta. Let me look from afar. <sighs> Questionable. For now, because they're chubby and tall, I'm just gonna leave it in here. Hmm? I'm gonna let it like stay in the plant gang in front of the house while I'm away in Vegas and come back to it. But for now, I wanna just leave it in here until I figure out, I don't know, it just looks really funky in there. I think that is going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to do one check on my propagation table if anybody rooted up in water that I can plant up in today's video and then we'll wrap up. All right, sun is going down and I got a few cuttings that I want to plant up really quickly. And I want to share with you guys the Aeonium cuttings that Carmen gave me and I'm going to pair it with the chicken that she gave me on the second trip that I just came back from. So I think it's going to look cute. I'm just gonna plant it up really quickly as the sun is lowering on me. Time's pressing. And then the uh, Kalinkoi cuttings that she gave me. So rooted up, so I wanna see if I can plant it up in this video before the sun goes down. This is going to be tricky. All right, let's get this in here. Definitely send Carmen a picture of her cuttings planted up in the planter she gave me two weeks later. 
I love how that worked out. We're just gonna hang it over the chicken this way, I think. Fill up the planter. So this is going to be the look of the chicken planter and the cuttings that she gave me in two separate visits. I think that works out well. And when it roots, then it won't wiggle as much, but I think that's super cute. Looks very eclectic. We got the cuttings that I got from Evelyn. They're rooted up here. I'm gonna put it in an ice cream planter really excited about this and I'll have to send her a picture today as well I got these planted up today so it's gonna just hang out here Let's see will you stand up in this short fern pot if not I'm gonna have to switch out for a taller one behind me but I want to say you'll be okay in this one This could be a thing. So these are the cuttings that Carmen gave me as well. So I'm glad that worked out. I think this is fine for now. So I'm gonna clean up my space before the sun goes down and wrap up the video. Guys, here is the finished look. I know it's super dark because the sun is setting, but today is probably like my only day I can do a Planting with Julian episode. Could have maybe done it tomorrow, but it would have been really rushy. So I have my totem pole cactus cuttings here. I don't know. We'll see if I keep it in there for now. It'll be there. I have my arrowhead planted up in my Chinatown planter. And I got the arrowhead from Las Vegas. And then my two Hoyas from West Hollywood got planted up in my white planters. And then I have aeonium cuttings in the planter that Carmen got me. And she gave me those cuttings as well. And then the Kalankoi uh, cuttings that I got from Carmen and Evelyn also got potted up today and then I just made a switch out for my silver satin photos to get into this planter so I could free it up and use it for my Hoya so that they could be matching but this is today's plant gang and um, yeah my day was really hectic so I couldn't get this up sooner before the sun went down so that completes today's plant gang all right so it is the next day and after filming yesterday and ending up filming in the dark towards the end i watched the outro that i filmed yesterday and it was too dark so i wanted to go ahead and refilm it so it is the next day i am home between two jobs and i leave in the morning to las vegas i can't wait to see ebby and my las vegas plants but i wanted to go ahead and recap all of the plants that I planted up in yesterday's planting with Julin. I got my totem pole cuttings, which I got from Arizona in an existing planter that I had. My crazy arrowhead vine, which is planted up in my Chinatown planter. As well as my Hoya Compacta Variegata in a white planter, my new plant. Which actually had my silver satin potos cuttings in it. But got transferred into a blue and white planter that I picked up from Chinatown. And my Hoya Chelsea with its deep dimples and trails is in a nice white planter. So I got the two Hoyas in the same white planters, which I think works out really well. And then I have my plant friend cuttings here. I have my Arizona cuttings from Carmen, my subscriber online plant friend. I have her cilantro cuttings planted up in a little fern pot. And then the chicken planter she gave me two weeks later over the weekend, I have her aeonium cuttings planted up in that. So I'm glad that worked out well. And then I planted up the cilantro cuttings from Evelyn and the little ice cream planter. So that is a recap of all of the plants I planted up in the Planting with Julian episode yesterday. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant of the episode. There's so much going on. We got a lot of plant friend cuttings, cuttings from Arizona, new plants, old plants planted up, which kind of seems like the trending Planting with Julian type of episode. If you guys enjoyed this channel, please spread it to other plant friends who needs inspiration. And thank you for supporting my channel. You can find more on my blog at ilajulian.blogspot.com. So excited to be having a combined birthday dinner with Evelyn tonight because we didn't get to celebrate my birthday in August and her birthday was this week. So really excited to give her some plants for her birthday, which I will go ahead and insert here so you can see the two plants that I gave her because she's new to house plants and she just got a house. So 
really excited to present her these plants and that's all for now guys i'll see you guys very soon thanks for supporting my channel until next time aloha from santa monica bye